guys, Vincent here. I am a full-time iOS engineer. In this video, I'll talk about the side project that helped me land interviews at these companies. I will break this video down into four parts. What are side projects, my side project, how to include it in your resume, and also how to talk about it in an interview. What are side projects? Have you ever heard of the saying, need a job to get experience, need experience to get a job? Well, as a software engineer, you can gain experience without a job through side projects. All you really need is just a computer and maybe the internet. One advice that I would give is that you should work on a project that you're passionate about or a project that relates to the job that you're applying for. I say this because for me personally, I tend to start a project and lose motivation pretty easily. So it is important to work on something that you're passionate about. So that way you can bring it through the finish line. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube about how to build an Instagram clone or even a restaurant review clone. Don't get me wrong, these are great projects. But if you think about it, everyone who watched it, they probably built it and put it on their resume. So when recruiters go through resumes, they're gonna see over a hundred resumes that have the same project. If you really wanna get that job, your goal is to stand out to the recruiters. So if you created one of those projects, make sure you tweak it a little bit so that it's a bit different. Now I will tell you about my side project. In my third year of university, I lived in New York City. Make sure you check out this video if you wanna learn more about my programming journey. While I was in New York, I really wanted to watch Broadway shows, which are basically theatrical performances. Tickets can be a bit pricey depending on where you choose to sit. As a broke intern, I found out that you can get discounted tickets for around $40 if you enter a Broadway lottery raffle. This was awesome, but it required a lot of work to fill out each form for each lottery. So instead, I built a simple Android app to autofill these forms. It worked out pretty well, and I didn't plan on releasing it to the world at all. After a few nudges from coworkers, I decided to release it on the Google Play Store. So if you didn't know, it is free to release Android apps on the Google Play Store. I didn't expect too much from this, but somehow my app got over 10,000 downloads. So putting something out there on the internet is pretty scary. But there are also a lot of benefits as well. More specifically, I was able to engage with my users and see how they use my app. Aside from the haters, I really enjoyed the positive feedback. And I also enjoyed reading comments from my users that have won tickets through my app. One of the best things that happened was that a coworker used my app and he won tickets to watch Lion King. All in all, you should build a side project that solves a real life problem. And by releasing it to the public, it gives you extra points. How to include it in a resume. So side projects is a great way for you to demonstrate that you have specific skills. So in my case, this app helped demonstrate that I can build mobile applications. In addition, it also showed that I can maintain applications as well. So on your resume, what you want to do is include a short blurb about your project. Then you want to include some stats. In my case, I mentioned how many downloads my app got and also how many in-app events it had. Some other things that you can mention are the technologies that you use to build your app. If you worked in a team to build your project, it's important to mention the number of people. This helps shows that you can work in a team and it also shows that you have collaboration skills. Remember, recruiters scan through a lot of resumes every day. So it is important to keep it simple and straight to the point. How to talk about your project in the interview. Your goal in the interview is to give a high overview of how you built your project. First, you want to dive into the technology stack that you use to build your project. In my case, I use Kotlin to build my project, and I also use Firebase as the backend. Next, it is important to talk about any technical issues that you face, or maybe even the trade-offs that you made. So at first, when I built this project, I hard-coded each lottery link in the app. This worked fine, but as new shows got added or shows got removed, my app did not scale. In order for me to keep up with the shows that got removed or the shows that got added, I had to push an update to my app. One of the biggest pain points of mobile development is that if you make updates, your users won't get the updates unless they update their app. In order to solve this issue, I used Firebase as a backend. So instead of hard coding every lottery link, I just stored the different links into Firebase. This solution helped me scale my app. So now instead of pushing a new update, all I need to do is make changes to the database and then I get the updates for free on my app. In this example, I was able to explain my expertise in mobile development, and I was also able to show that I am able to maintain applications. Key takeaways. Side projects equal experience. Work on something that you're passionate about so that way you can finish it. Keep things simple and straight to the point on a resume. And lastly, try to tell a story of how you built your application and any technical challenges that you had faced. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. Peace.